In this video, I'm going to speak to you in reconstructed ancient Egyptian. But how is that possible when no one speaks the language anymore and it's written with seemingly indecipherable hieroglyphics? In 1799, the 2200 year old Rosetta Stone was discovered with inscriptions of the same text in ancient Egyptian and Greek. Scholars cracked the code by looking at the hieroglyphics that corresponded to Greek names and finding that they were actually being used to spell out foreign words like an alphabet. So a name like Ptolemy would be spelled P T L M Y S. Amazingly, these letters matched up with the hieroglyphics used to write names on other sources like obelisks. And scholars eventually produced an alphabet of 24 letters that could be used to write the entire Egyptian language. The only problem is that similar to other Afro-Asiatic scripts like Arabic or Hebrew, in ancient Egyptian only consonants are represented, not vowels. The key to solving this mystery was to realize that similar to how Italian descends from Latin, the Egyptian language actually still exists today in the form of Coptic, which is still used as a liturgical language in Egypt today, vowels and all. And based on how linguists know languages change over time, they can reconstruct entire ancient Egyptian words. So the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs Nutr, or God, can be reconstructed as Nakar, based on Coptic Nute. So putting it all together, here's what a sentence in ancient Egyptian may have sounded like in 2500 BC. <laughs>